What is up, my friends? So after episode three of Lovecraft Country last week, we thought we were going to have to wait a whole week to get the new episode. Today, HBO was like, nah, we got you. New episode, here you go. Go watch it right now. And yes, they did. They released the newest episode, episode four, A History of Violence. So last week's episode was very much so haunted house type of feels right there, where we learned that the new house that Letty has gotten was actually of a former evil like person racist whatever you want to call him who is part of the order as well at a certain point and it is very much so important to christina to find um what's in this house because they believe that there is a key to getting the pages of the son of adam and that's exactly what they want to get their hands on because they would be able to pretty much get some spells and all of that from that now, Atticus confronts Christina at the end of the last episode in order for her to get away from all of them and leave them alone to where she pretty much is like, you ain't going to get rid of me because I got magic and shit. So pretty much putting them in the predicament where we don't know exactly how it's going to play out. So Letty confronts Atticus about this when Christina shows up at her doorstep and she's pretty much like, why weren't you going to tell me what's going on? You're not the only one that's basically going through all of this. It's all of us as well. And... I don't like how you're being like that. So it pretty much put a whole uh, shambles into shambles all of their relationship right there. Atticus realizes that they have to find the vault of Titus in order to find the pages that are missing. And so they go on this excursion, expedition, whatever you want to call it, with his father Montrose. Even though he is pretty much like adamantly saying, I don't want to do this. I'm not going to be part of this. But he's like, I'm just going to do it because I know that I, you're going to need my help. And I don't feel comfortable sending you out there, not like you not knowing exactly what you're getting into when I have already studied a lot of this and I know what's going on. So, yeah, that's pretty much where that is there. They go on this adventure um, excursion, whatever you want to call it, with Hippolyta and Diana as well. And they go to the uh, Museum of Boston. That's where they believe that this vault is going to be at. And they ultimately do find the entrance and everything to it and end up finding the pages as well. But the only problem is that they don't know how to decipher it. But they end up also finding an ancient person that Titus had come across as well and pretty much sort of hexed into protecting it as well. And the problem with this person is they don't speak their language but then Atticus is somehow able to speak the language as well. And that could be very well because he has Titus's blood. So he does have some sort of magic to him as well. Uh, they end up getting the pages and this person that had been sort of mummified for all, all these years back to the uh, like normal area we're all in. Not in that dungeon Indiana Jones type shit we were in. And what happens when they go to the surface is this person can't speak anymore. They become a siren. So they can only shriek. And so now they're going to pretty much be like, OK, what we got to do is we have to teach them English in order for them to help us decipher all of these pages because it's in a language we don't understand. And so they let her stay wherever they are. But by the end of the episode, what happens is Montrose kills her for some reason. We're not sure yet. So that's pretty much where the episode ends up. We also see Ruby get caught up in some wizard shit that I don't think she was supposed to get caught up in and we see in the preview that that's going to catch up to her and it's all pretty much i feel like bait in order for uh christina to get what she wants from atticus and letty as well so we'll see how that plays out we're not sure exactly why montrose did what he did but he probably knows more than he's letting on about what comes next and it might be in an effort to protect tick as well so i think that's going to be the most plausible cause of all of this we do know that other people in the order are against Christina, as we saw with the police person who was pretty much like, stop this, like, you're not the one that's supposed to do all of this. So there's a lot of powers being into play right now that want the same thing and are against each other. So it's going to be interesting to see how Tick and Letty make it all alive of this because many people want what they are pretty much like using them to get it. And then who knows what's going to happen once they do so. Uh, interesting stuff going to be happening in the next episode. I'm not sure if HBO is just going to release the new next episode on Sunday or what, but I I'm excited to see what comes next. Maybe because it's a longer weekend, that's what we're going to get. But a lot of shit just dropped today, right? We had The Boys, we had Mulan, we had, um, I'm thinking of ending things. We had uh, Lovecraft coming out of nowhere. We had Tony Hawk Pro Skater. I mean, it is just a great Friday, honestly. Like, 
you can just spend the whole day looking at all the new shit and you're just like damn and ten it just released in theaters so very very much so good but as i said next episode from the uh preview we see it's it's gonna be intense it's gonna be uh, a bloodbath it looks by it and i'm very curious to see exactly what they're trying to do with ruby as well because this is just not gonna end well i feel and i think that they are getting like desperate the wizards in them and they're just gonna do whatever it takes now to get exactly what they want um now that this mummified person that was sort of guarding the pages is gone i'm curious as well to how will they ever be able to decipher it like are they gonna have to go back or what exactly can happen will tick miraculously be able to uncover all of this and are we gonna see him do some magic say he said he wanted to do a spell to keep them all safe so we might just see that happen at some point let me know your thoughts on that below and what you thought about the newest episode as well and what else are you currently watching um currently watching fargo so i'm catching up on the previous seasons new season comes out in three weeks so super pumped for that once that does get released but just a lot of stuff to look out for i will be having my boys episode tomorrow on the first three episodes and mulan as well over the weekend and also my other tenant video so we got a lot of videos that are going to be dropping this weekend long weekend so you're pretty much gonna turn on the bell for notifications so you know when that drops make sure you're subscribed as well we are on the road to 20,000 subscribers we are so close to getting there we're about to hit 16,000 that is amazing thank you so much to everybody who watches likes comments shares all of that and let's just get to it you can also follow me on my twitter at nerdround also my website nerdround.com anchor is where i post all of the videos in audio format but yeah we got a lot of stuff coming today is friday so as you know new music friday there is some big releases and we're going to be talking about that pretty excited to check out big sean's detroit 2 as well this has been a album that i've been anticipating ever since i heard so we'll be talking about that tonight as well and everything else that dropped but yeah I mean, September 4th, what a day, right? But yeah, let me know your thoughts on the newest Lovecraft Country episode. What do you think is going to happen? Are you loving this series so far? I like it, especially after this episode, because it just feels like nostalgic, but also new at the same time. And I'm loving this whole mystery thrill to it as well. But today's episode was Indiana Jones. Last episode was more of House on Haunted Hill. And I... It's, it's super, super great how they're uh, bending and mixing all of these genres together to give us something completely different than we've ever gotten before. But anyways, as I said, that's going to do it for me. As always, have a great long weekend. Stay safe. Stay positive. Hey, if you're still listening, go ahead and check out the video on the left. Make sure you subscribe. Turn on the bell for notifications. I'll see you next time. Stay positive.